What the heck is fusion and why is everyone talking about it? I thought it was time to make a video that answers that question in plain English. So you don't have to be a scholar to figure out if it's worth your time or not. Fusion is an app by the company Blackmagic Design, the same one that makes DaVinci Resolve. And this gets immediately confusing because there's two versions of Fusion. What? There's Fusion Standalone, which on screen is called Fusion 18. And there's also the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. But what's the difference? This is an answer lost in the annals of time and shrouded by the fog of science. But what are the differences? Not much. See, a couple years back, Blackmagic took the Fusion app and it just crammed it into a page of DaVinci Resolve. And so you can do almost everything that you can do in the standalone version of Fusion inside of DaVinci Resolve. And that's kind of the thing that put Fusion on my radar and I think the radar of a lot of content creators. So there's two versions of Fusion. One is standalone app. The other one is inside of DaVinci Resolve. But what the heck does Fusion even do? Why should we even care? Well, as you can see from this really cool splash image, Fusion is where you do fancy video things. I guess that's a good way to say it. So we have this 3D robot and she's glowing and there's lens flares and a sky and there's 3D buildings and fire and flames and all kinds of crazy stuff. This is the sort of thing that you do in Fusion. And there's kind of two main categories of what you would do in Fusion. One of them would be visual effects. So here's sort of an example. We have a shot and we're adding blur and glow and light rays and film grain and adding lens flares and, you know, putting this 3D robot into an environment and putting this spaceship up in the sky. It's making things that aren't real look real. That's visual effects. When you think of stuff like green screen, replacing people's background, putting 3D renders into footage and putting it behind things and tracing things out, adding filters and effects and that kind of thing, those are all examples of visual effects or VFX. It's putting fake things into the shot and making them look real. And the abilities of Fusion are just about limitless when it comes to visual effects. You can use 3D cameras and animations and things that have been built in uh, Blender and Maya and all kinds of different 3D apps. And you can bring them in and combine them with photos and videos to make awesome looking things. So that's the visual effects side of things. Fusion has been around for a really long time and it is really good at visual effects. The other huge category of things that you might do in Fusion has to do more with graphics and animations. So for instance, putting these big 3D letters here in this shot, having them animate in, having this lower third come up, these shiny graphics with the text and all that stuff, animating text and particles and all the stuff that isn't really supposed to look realistic, but it's kind of like design. That kind of stuff is possible in Fusion as well. So making dynamic animations and cartoons and, you know, text popping up and exploding and graphic design sort of things, layering things, all of that is also possible in Fusion. Maybe you've heard of an app called Adobe After Effects. The things that you would use After Effects for are very similar to what you would use Fusion for. It's sort of like Blackmagic's answer to After Effects. So if you're an Adobe person, you might edit in Premiere and then do your graphics and your visual effects in After Effects. If you're using Resolve, it's really convenient to edit in Resolve and then do your graphics and your animations and your visual effects inside of Fusion. Now, there's a couple things to mention about Fusion here. One, even though Fusion has been around for a really long time, it's been sort of in a pretty niche market. There are some people who are diehard fans of Fusion, but it's not a huge popular app. So there aren't quite as many tutorials and resources and templates and things like that for Fusion, which can be a really big deal for a lot of people. But the potential of things that you can make in Fusion is absolutely limitless. And one of the most powerful things about Fusion is that it's integrated right into Resolve, which makes it perfect for people who are using Resolve to edit or do their color grading. You can really quickly pop into Fusion and do some adjustments to your shots without having to have two different programs talk to each other which can be problematic and can take a lot of time sometimes. So for instance, if we have an edit in Resolve, if we want to do something in Fusion, all we have to do is park our playhead over the clip that we want to adjust, and then down at the bottom of the interface, click on the Fusion page. And that's gonna bring this clip up in Fusion where we can play with it and do all kinds of fancy stuff. So for instance, I wanted to make some graphics for this edit, 
And all I did was go over my last shot here and switched over to Fusion. And I built these graphics in the Fusion page in just a couple minutes. And you'll notice not only is this animated and we have these different textures coming through the text, but it's also tracked to the slight movement of our shot. So as the camera moves up and down, the graphics move with it. And that's one of the reasons why you'd use Fusion rather than just making your titles in the edit page. Now, let's talk a little bit about how Fusion works. Something that a lot of people really get tripped up on is Fusion uses something called nodes. So if we kind of zoom in here, we're building our motion graphics with this flow chart down here, rather than a stack of layers like you might be used to in an image editing app or even in a timeline of the edit page. And since this is sort of an overview video, I'll cut to the chase. Nodes are a great way to work, whether you're doing visual effects or whether you're doing motion graphics. But if you're not used to using nodes, it does take a mindset shift. Well, I think that would have been apparent. It's sort of learning a brand new way to think about how you build an image, which honestly trips a lot of people up. Nodes are probably the main reason why people don't jump into Fusion because they look at a node graph like this and they go, gosh, why does it have to be so complicated and hard? Why are there so many little parts with all these little connections? It doesn't make any sense to me. And then they close Fusion and quit. That's just too bad. And when they first put the Fusion page in Resolve, I was the exact same way. I opened it up and went, why would you make it this way? This is dumb. But after learning this stuff myself and teaching hundreds of students how to make things with nodes, I figured out that there is a tipping point where your mind switches from nodes are stupid to, oh dang, this is actually a really great way to work. And I very rarely see somebody who finally understands nodes not prefer nodes to layers. It's kind of like once you get it, you're sold. It's just hard because it feels like this great big mountain that you have to climb to start to understand nodes. But I wanna show you some of the cool stuff that you can do for free in the free version of Resolve using the Fusion page once you understand nodes. We have a shot here of this lady just chilling on the subway, listening to some tunes. But this is a visual effect. Check this out. Let's take away our fancy things. And she didn't have sunglasses on. This is what the actual shot looks like. What I did was get a picture of some sunglasses and cut them out and replace the lenses, did some color correction, blurred it a little bit, added a little drop shadow, and put it on her face and tracked that movement. And then I was able to use part of those sunglasses to take this picture and put that into the reflection of the sunglasses and have that move and parallax along with her head so that it looks like that's a real reflection. Now, this isn't perfect. It could take some more work, but I feel like it's a pretty convincing effect that I threw together in just a couple minutes, you know? And it's just neat to be able to have that freedom to be able to just change a shot and kind of morph it and all you really need to do is learn how nodes work. Fusion is an insanely powerful part of DaVinci Resolve. So if you want to make animations and motion graphics and, you know, 3D titles and do visual effects and make things look realistic like we did with the uh, glasses shot and you edit with DaVinci Resolve, it's like a no brainer to jump into Fusion. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, my name is Casey and I teach Fusion. And even if you're brand new to this, I want you to do me a favor and sign up for our nine nodes workshop, which is right there. That's a workshop where I take you through the only nine nodes that you need to make so much stuff in Fusion. All you need to know is nine of them. There's hundreds of nodes in Fusion, but I'm gonna show you the most important ones in the most simple way possible. And it's gonna be like a turbocharger to start your brain. That's one thing. Also, I want you to check out this video, which explains how nodes work with food metaphors. And I think you're gonna look at that and go, oh dang, this isn't that hard. And then you'll be off to the races. I went through this whole thing and I don't even think I said compositing. Compositing means putting stuff together. That's what Fusion does. I saw it in a book. <laughs>